kiddos. I'm in here now. Hey everybody, all right, it's mailbag time, it's 10 o'clock, all the kids just spent all morning running around like little crazy people, now they're tired out and they're done. Uh, so we'll see if any of them decide to come in here now that I'm talking, but otherwise, we may not have too much kitten participation for today's mailbag. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. All right, otherwise everything looks pretty good to me, and uh, which microphone's on? One right in front of me, I hope. So it is. All right. Good. Uh, well, in that case, I guess we can just jump right into it for uh, for news this week. Uh, actually, let me move this camera behind me because these kids are probably going to be in front of me. Uh, I'm not at the best angle for that either. Hmm. Well, it is what it is. That's fine. Yeah, that'll do. All right, anyway, uh, what can I say? Uh, news this week um, hasn't been a whole lot to say. I, DJ's on vacation this week and next week, and I've been taking a little bit of that vacation with her. So uh, there hasn't been a whole lot to report. Uh, everybody's healthy, happy. Uh, we're, you know, we're keeping people separated. You may have noticed that uh, these kittens' mom, Kahuti, has been wearing her suit all week because we wanted to stop nursing. It's all an effort to kind of get her... Uh, digestive issues in, in order. Um, she's not getting enough calories, but at the same time, she's eating way too much. Uh, and it, the suit has turned out to be very good for her because everything has kind of gotten back into shape for her while she's wearing it. Um, except that she doesn't like to wear it. And I think sometimes uh, she ends up peeing in funny spots as she's wearing the suit for one reason or another. So that's why it's off of her right now. But we're still trying to control her diet, so you'll notice that she doesn't get to eat with her kids because if she does, she just eats all their food. Um, but as long as we limit her intake and uh, you know keep her from doing too much nursing, she does just fine. So we're going to probably try to keep that up. Uh, otherwise, uh, everybody's happy. Oshi, uh, you'll notice Ocean and Custard kind of hanging around these kittens as they like because they both have had a lot of exposure to the kittens and they're fine with them. Uh, Custard, of course, not going to start any trouble with anybody, and uh, Oshi has has sort of been all the way down the friendship road with these kittens as of last night. Um, you know, she had hissed at them and sort of told them where her boundaries are, and now they've kind of learned those boundaries, and now she wants to play with them, uh, which she's not exactly good at. You might have just seen that. She just came up on uh, Hoodwink and smacked her, and Hoodwink hissed at her to say that was too much, but she's clearly trying to make it into play. Um, and, and who has been last night too. So, and when, when the kittens hiss at her to tell her to back off a little, she does, she respects that because she's just there to play. She's not there to, to cause any difficulty. So, so, uh, there's a little bit of adjustment still happening there, but I expect that to be sorted out on both ends pretty soon. And, uh, we'll probably expect to see Oshi doing a lot of playing with these kittens in the last couple of weeks that she's here, uh, before she goes home, which is still planned for the first week in December. Uh, fingers crossed that, that that all works out according to schedule. So uh, then Oshi will be uh, gone. It'll just be Cahoots and her kids here. And uh, we've already got Dawes on the lookout for a new mom cat. Uh, but I don't know exactly when that will be happening. So, uh, you know, when it does, though, we're ready for it. And I guess that is, that's about it, really. Okay, nothing else to delay about. So let's start right here. We've got a card with this really cool, this looks exactly like one of the blankets that we get from the BMB sisters, which uh, also are included in today's mailbag. But uh, not only that, we have coffee stamps, which is very cool. And this is from Philly Mouse, according to the uh, return address, Philly Mouse, who I recognize from Discord. So let's see what Philly Mouse has to say. Hi, Custard, what do you have to say? It says, a little birdie was going around telling everyone your age. <laughs> it's a cat uh, who looks kind of uh, like uh, mean, I guess, and grumpy uh, with a single feather. Oops. Oh, cool. Stickers. Okay, hang on. Uh, it says, uh, don't worry, I took care of it. It tasted like chicken. Happy birthday. With warmest regards, uh, Anna Marie, a.k.a. Philly Mouse. Oh, thank you, Philly Mouse. It says, dear Mr. A, happy birthday. Thank you very much. Uh, these stickers you sent are super cool. We've got two cats in sunglasses, uh, one that's got kind of a vintage um, uh, uh, Beatles uh, style, I guess. Actually, they, I, you know, whatever. It's hard to get away from that when you've got the round glasses, isn't it? Uh, and then we got the Meow, uh, and we've got this guy right here who looks super cute, sort of like a, a cartoon version of the Tom out with a rainbow, which I like. 
I'll add those to my sticker collection, which someday I am going to put all over things like my laptop. Uh, I, I definitely plans. Oh, you sent a donation to you didn't need to do that. But thank you so much. That is that is very kind of you. Uh, I'm going to set that aside so that it does not get turned into uh, uh, with the letters or put into storage with the letters like we do. So there we go. Okay, he did send a letter though. And it says okay to read on stream and a little sticky note. Here you go, buddy. You're okay to read on stream now. Oh, okay, not for long. Uh, dear Mr. A and DJ, greetings from Morristown, Pennsylvania. I'm uh, that's named uh, Norristown. Sorry, I was going for the cat, uh, but no, Norristown, Pennsylvania. I'm hoping all is well with you and all at Kitten Academy. I am thoroughly enjoying the antics of the latest class of kittens and Miss Cahoots. But can I wait to see them downstairs and enjoy the Christmas decorations? Now, for the explanation of the enclosed check. Terry, a.k.a. Ginger Cat Lover, and I made a wager at the start of the World Series on behalf of our two teams, my Philadelphia Phillies and Terry's Houston Astros. If my Phillies won, Terry would send me a gift. Uh, if Terry's Astros won, I would make a donation to Kitten Academy. Well, Terry's Astros won the World Series, and I'm keeping my promise in making a donation to help with all your good work at Kitten Academy. Please use the money as you see fit. It. I hope you have a wonderful birthday filled with love, laughter, and hers. Take good care of yourself and enjoy life to the fullest. With warmest regards, Anna Marie, aka Philly Mouse. Well, Philly Mouse, thank you so much. That is, uh, I guess, um, you guys had the wager, but I uh, and the kittens, I would say, the kittens definitely won. So, uh, thanks so much for that. Thanks so much for, uh, I guess, being uh, true to your word and taking care of that. I had no idea that was a thing. So. You definitely could have Welshed on it, and I wouldn't know. Hey, is, that, is that an offensive term? I don't know where that comes from. But it's just now that I'm saying it, I realize that could be something uh, that people don't say. I don't know. Hmm. Uh, uh, I guess somebody will have to let me know if that's a problematic uh, uh, etymology. Etymology? Is etymology words or is etymology insects? I think. You know what? Uh, let's just keep moving before I get too far off the subject here. Uh, what was this? Um... Let's see, this is Special Handling Fragile. Okay, wow, I didn't even know they had a sticker from the post office that said Special Handling. Uh, let's see if it got Special Handling and made it to us intact. <clears throat> I think we've got some kittens playing behind me. Maybe I need to move that camera again. Well, maybe not, maybe they're gonna run around. All right, well, there's some stuff in here and it says to Mr. A and Dr. DJ, okay to read out loud. Uh, let's see here. I'm told that uh, Welshing is not, uh, 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 is it Welshing or Welshing now? I don't even know. Oh, wow, there's a giant blue jay outside. All right, I'm told that it's not offensive, so I can keep saying it. Uh, we'll see about that. This is a very cute pile of little gray tabbies uh, on, laying on a pile of hay. And inside it says, Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, thought you two would enjoy reading this book. The Theory of Cat Gravity. Uh, my friend Helen bought one for me and I enjoyed it. Me and Helen watch Kitten Academy live stream every day and get so much joy watching all the kitty cats. It's sad to see them go, but I know they go to good homes. Enclosed are some cat toys to give out as you see fit. From Kayla. Kayla, thank you so much. First off, the toys that you sent are great. Uh, there's springs, there's uh, little Charlie balls. That's what uh, we call the tinsel balls for I guess historical reasons now. Uh, we got these little uh, rainbow colored fuzzy balls. We got some uh, uh, the fun tubes that they do have the ends turned in to be super fun. We got these tiny springs too, those tiny long springs. Those have got to be fun. Plus a micro wand. I found those micro wands really nice to just like sort of keep uh, in the bedside table uh, and then have to pull out to distract the kitten that needs it while we're laying in bed and don't want to get up. Or uh, this is pocket size too, which is super nice. So this is a great set of toys. Thank you so much for that. Um, and I was, there was something else I wanted to say. What was it? Um, oh, oh, you're saying uh, I know they go to good homes. And for some reason, that reminded me. Uh, the thing I didn't talk about that we did this week was a photo shoot with these kids included in, the, in front of the Christmas tree. Uh, we were really taking shots for the annual Christmas card, which uh, signups are already over for that. So uh, if you didn't make it on a Discord in time to sign up, I guess the moment's passed. I think uh, DJ, in fact, said that she already took care of ordering them and, and getting them uh, done. So it might be completely finished. Um, but we did a photo shoot for that this week. And during that, I, I brought each of these kittens in and took a picture of them. 
Uh, if I recall, though, the ones of, uh, I think it was Hoodwink, all came out a little bit less than optimal. So I was thinking about redoing it, but then I also just packed up all the, well, not packed up, but put away all of the, uh, the flashes and stuff. I had left them in the same arrangement in case I wanted to retake some shots. And then this morning, for some reason, I was like, let's just get those out of the way. So I don't know. Uh, anyway, there's some good pictures of these kids. And that's my point, I guess, is that I need to get around to updating our website so I can share all of them because we have their birth photos and we have some photos from a little bit after their eyes open. And we got the photos from uh, uh, yes, not yesterday, this week anyway, that are just, they're great pictures of these little kittens growing up. And that's one way that I like to be able to remember them too. So anyway, the theory of cat gravity, uh, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell this is funny, um, uh, maybe a little too funny with some of our uh, readers from overseas. I can't even uh, say the joke that's on the back. Um, oh, I see. Look at that. It's got some cute illustrations. It says, uh, Being Robin's Pet Theory by Robin Wood. And it's illustrated, and it does look very funny. Uh, oh, interesting. And it looks like there's a whole theory here about a cat being full of gravity and how it all works. I can't wait to read this because it looks fun and the illustrations are just great. Uh, these sort of um, line drawings with uh, there's like arrows and little diagram bits. Uh, so it's trying to be highly technical about this theory, which is uh, going to be super funny. I can tell. I can just tell. So uh, thank you for that. All right. I'm excited. Robin Wood, it says, is the, uh, the name of the... Uh, author and the uh, the artist is Diana Harlan Stein according to this that's uh, that's fun I can't I'm excited to read that it looks like a quick uh, fun read and so thank you so much for that uh, Kayla right I think that's right okay oh, oh I think I know exactly what this is this is not actually Kitten Academy uh, business but I think it was sent a mailbag so there's nothing wrong with me opening it here and sharing with all of you I believe I know exactly what this is. I was given a warning. Oh, but there's a note right on top. It says, Mr. A and DJ. So we can start with that. And the note has a, a big kitten carrying a little kitten, but the little kitten is wearing a business suit and a, some sort of a purse. Uh, oh, I see. And the little kitten is saying, this is humiliating. Couldn't you drop me a block from school? <laughs> That's a cute little piece of art. Uh, and then inside it says, we hope you enjoy this honey from our hives. Yes, that's what I expected it to be. Where is it? There it is. Oh, wow. Uh, oh, it is. Oh, okay, that's beautiful. And uh, it came through just fine. I like that it's in a Ziploc bag for extra safety, but it turns out that nothing leaked. It might even be sealed on the inside. It is. Wow, that's extra, extra safety. That's belt and suspenders honey right there. It's a little darker and stronger in flavor this year because we moved our hives to another location. Uh, thank you for all you do for the mom cats and kittens and pregnots. Flair and Tahini assisted in the packing. Thank you so much from the Burns. Uh, that is so sweet, both of you. Uh, yeah, you guys have been uh, giving us honey every year and I really appreciate it. I always look forward to it. Uh, some other folks have been giving us honey too, so I've got quite a bit of honey right now. Uh, and speaking a bit of honey, I've often wondered, like, what's the smallest amount of, like, a honey candy that I can make in a batch? Uh, I wonder if that's something I can use some of the honey on, because that's good stuff, you know. Uh, that would be a fun thing to try. But uh, just tiny amounts, because, you know, you need, a, like, a ton of honey if you're going to do a lot of it. And I don't, I don't need to have a lot of it either. It'd be an interesting experiment to try anyway, especially with some of the honeys that uh, some folks have given us that have... Uh, like you could use one of those um, spicy honeys and turn that into a thing and it could be like a spicy honey candy. Hmm, something to think about. Anyway, anyway, uh, thank you so much. This is this is great. And uh, uh, yeah, <clears throat> I'm, I'm very excited about it. Part of me wants to sing hello, my honey, uh, but I'm not going to do that because that would be ridiculous. You can just imagine that I did it, okay? Like I'm currently imagining that I've done it. <clears throat> Okay, uh, Ragtime Gal, I think is the song I'm looking for there. Uh, it starts that way. Okay, uh, this has, I can see um, these, these cats on the front that are the, uh, the uh, Cl Clement, Cl the, that author anyway, the I mean, artist. Um, and uh, so therefore we know for sure this is from Lisa G, or uh, uh, Beans and Cheeto, uh, former uh, Kitten Academy kittens. Uh, so let's find out what's in here, though, because this is... Maybe not the usual package format. Open it very carefully here. There we 
ja. Wow, lots of protection. Oh, ooh, I see exactly what this is. Uh, but, so first off, it is a couple of calendars from our artist who was Kilben. There we go. I got it. I couldn't think of the name for some reason. I got the K, uh, but I went with the wrong name. I, I think that was actually Clements, the name of a, a guy I used to uh, do a lot of uh, 3D printing discussion with. Who, uh, he started this really cool project to sort of open source medical devices for third world countries that, that couldn't... Uh, um, uh, you know, had trouble, I guess, uh, acquiring certain things. And uh, had last time I spoke to him, I think he had, was, had just come up with a like an O2, um, one of those, you know, like pulse ox uh, that was like an open source pulse ox deal. Very cool stuff. Uh, I don't know why I got into that. Anyway, uh, Kilvin is the, the name of the uh, uh, Cleveland. I mean, Cleveland. Yes, I can never do that right. Cleveland. All right, we got it. We tried. We keep trying until we get it right. Here is. The note. Uh, I know I can be a little much sometimes. It's got a kitty who's knocked over a glass of milk and stolen a cookie and is wearing a Santa hat. Uh, it says, I know I can be a little much sometimes. That's cute. So uh, I want you to know how grateful I am for your sing-song voice, your behind-the-ear scratches, and your unending patience, even when I'm not always on the nice list. Merry Christmas, human. Uh, that's cute. To Mr. A and DJ. This is something every KA alumni says about you. Oh, that's so sweet. Kicking off the holiday season with a bit of Cleveland fun to help you keep track of very important dates. See December. Thanks for all you do. Lisa G, Beans, and Cheeto. Well, let's peek right at the ending. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it's got Cheeto and Beans' uh, birthday and their mom's birthday. That's so cute that that's already filled in for us. What is going on in this picture? There's a cat putting all kinds of things into a blender. There's a lobster uh, prominently featured and cheese and some sort of greens. And then there's a turtle shell. Those are things that you would expect. But there's also a can of paint, a watch, a wristwatch, a ruler, a couple of nuts. That's the, like uh, bolts and nuts, nuts, and a hammer, plus a five ball. Uh, that is an unusual Will It Blend uh, episode, but uh, look at that. It's, uh, oh, it just happened cooking. to open to that. Yeah, I guess so. Is Cat cooking. That's a, I know. That's such a strange combination of things. I wonder if uh, there's no explanation that for what he's, <laughs> right? There's no explanation for what that's all about, but it's cute. These are all pretty funny, actually, in, in a sort of a weird, semi-surreal way. Look at this. No, oh, I love this. This is a very windy day, that and like uh, it does look like custard. And he's got this piece of paper like blowing on his face, and everything's blowing past him. There's even a, a mouse blowing past here in the, in the air. These are fun. All right, thank you for sending me uh, this calendar uh, and the note from Lisa G. Uh, Beans and Chico. Right. Uh, this theory of cat gravity book looks really cute too, DJ. You might want to take a look at it. It seems like. Yes. Hmm. There's a whole like cat gravity thing, and the cat gets full of gravity, and then it finds a person. Oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You can take it away now if you want, or I'll bring it upstairs when we're done here. Okay. Let's keep going uh, for mailbag here. Thank you so much again for that. These kids are back here playing and playing and playing. All right, we have a box here from Architect Cat. Ar Ar Architect Cat, yep, okay, I think I got one that time. We're just going to say I did and keep moving. Keep rolling. Now, I love the way that you've decorated the outside of this. I just cut right through it, so I guess there's no point in showing anybody. you got this, uh, what do you call that tape, washi tape? Uh, and it's got these sparkly little gold bits on it. It's very pretty. Ooh, wow, it's a, it's a mixed box of things. Let's see if we can find a note. There it is, the card with bonus note. I like that. All right, let's see here. Wow, uh, there's a lot. Oh, wow, this is beautiful. DJ, you got to see this before I wreck it. They uh, they used a ceiling wax stamp with a ribbon, and it's very ornate, though. It's detailed. I don't know if you guys can all see that. It says the card with bonus note and the kind of handwriting you would expect from an architect cat. Here, let me get out the letter opener so I don't have to break the seal. Yeah, it's, a seal. it's a, let's see, it is a cat in a, like a window with the astrological thing going on. Yeah. Here, let me pull the note and then you can look at it. It's beautiful, actually. I really like that design with the, the it's got the moons and it's got like a little archway that it's sitting in. It looks very uh, Art Deco, right? 
I think that's what you would call that style. Beautiful. Anyway, here we have a Meowy Christmas, a uh, very cute little uh, stamp print, and it says, uh, we got Meowsel Toe on the inside, that's cute, and a purr isn't, yes. Cat Mrs. Claus for celebration and puns. Wow, very well done. So fortunate to have Kitten Academy, Muir, just awesome, wishing everyone a perfect Christmas. Love, Architect Cat. P.S., why did Ari give everyone gag gifts for Christmas? He was just kidding around. That's very cute. Custard here is doing his thing where he sits on his back. Uh, and uh, i got to get a little picture of that from my angle so you guys can see what I'm seeing here. Hi, Custard. Do you want to say hi and look at me too? No, he's looking the other way. That's fine. Let me put that right up on Discord. That'll do. Oh, speaking of new things, yeah, I got a new phone this week because DJ broke her old phone and she decided to let me have the new one, uh, which is very nice of her. And I think the camera, it's a big improvement, personally. Uh, so people are going to hopefully start noticing that some of the pictures, I, the, the camera, the phone camera pictures I post are going to get a little better. And so are the micro close-ups, I hope. Uh, and we'll start doing, we'll do a real close-up real soon. Uh, the one I tried to do uh, this week failed, and it failed just because of a very simple mix-up. There was nothing actually majorly wrong. So uh, we should be able to do one of those pretty much any time, I hope. Anyway, all right, uh, here's the note. And I love that you've got a Kitten Academy logo here with a Christmas hat on it. And it says, Dear Mr. A, Dr. DJ, and K.A., having a blue Christmas is impossible with the kittens on my TV screen because they're just too hysterical. Thank you from the bottom of my nine lives for creating such a positive mental environment where I can escape from the cat astrophes and stresses of daily life. Watching the kittens and the mom cats for just a few minutes lifts my spirits and I'm feline better in an instant. Do you like the Christmas card with the wide-eyed Ari in various positions of cuteness on the front? I see now that it is a wide-eyed Ari, uh, Ari with, even with the eyes. I should have picked that up a little quicker. It's adorable. I'm looking forward to receiving this year's KA card and can't wait to see which faculty member will grace the cover. Hoping for Ari and or Loganberry, could they please have more screen time because I have an affinity for gray and orange cats. I grew up with guard dogs and wasn't allowed to have cats because the parents believe that cat eyes are evil. Wow, they would really get a kick out of Ari. Um, my older sister adopted an orange cat as soon as she moved out on her own and I adopted a gray cat when it was my turn to move out. Maybe one day I'll have the resources to adopt a cat from KA, but in the meantime, I love keeping up with them on social media platforms, especially River and Mural. Hoping Ocean will be active on social media once she's been picked up. Speaking of Ocean, I've included something for her endowment that she'll be able to enjoy throughout December. The other three are for faculty, current KA attendees, and maybe even a new mom cat. There are also turkey and cranberry cat treats for them to enjoy on and around Turkey Day. Wow, okay, we'll get into that in a minute. Uh, the spring balls for Kahootie and the Kahooligans can be deployed now or saved for their endowments. Of course, I couldn't forget you and DJ, but being mindful of your diet, I've sent a small sampling of my favorite chocolates. There is also a custom insulated mug to help keep your coffee warm longer, especially during mailbag. It's supposed to keep hot drinks warm for up to 12 hours and cold drinks cold for up to 24. Uh, probably not at the same time, though, right? Uh, after watching Ocean's Ramb... Uh, who was hissing there? Was that you? Uh, after watching Ocean's rambunctious kits spill your coffee during mailbag a few weeks ago and one of Kahoot's Kahooligans attempt to consume it a couple weeks ago. Oshi, Oshi, who's the hissing for? There's not even anybody that close to you. I can see somebody's all crab puff, though. What are you crap puffing about, Flim Flam? Flim Flam, why don't you come over here for a minute and reboot, okay? I know, you two are going to be real good friends real soon, but I think she's reacting to the fact that you're all puffed up. Custard's pose is even better now. He just is so silly. Buddy, I'm sorry to interrupt the middle of your letter. We'll come right back to that. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, after watching Ocean's rambunctious kids spill your coffee during mailbag a few weeks ago, one of Kahoot's Kahooligans attempt to consume it a couple weeks ago. It should prevent such shenanigans. As a bonus, the insert coffee to begin decal can be used as you see fit. Wishing everyone a meow Christmas 
in Whisker Wonderland from Architect Cat. Well, thank you so much, Architect Cat. What a wonderful box of stuff. Uh, this seal, by the way, is fantastic. We don't normally save the envelopes. Envelopes. Uh, envelopes? Envelopes. Oh, my goodness. What is wrong? I need more coffee this morning. Um, but we're going to save this one because that seal is super impressive. I just love it. It is, it is kind of Art Deco-y, but it, I can see there's mountains and a uh, like a window archway and then the actual moon and then the uh, moon uh, phases all done out as a motif and stars, all of it in just a little tiny seal, a little tiny wax seal. Oh my goodness. Oh, she just climbed the fake tree here. She is, she is in zoom mode. That's probably what set off a little flim flam is she probably zoomed a little too much for flimmy. You get it over zoomed? Yeah. All right. So let's see what's in here. Uh, where to start? I don't even know. What are these? Oh, advent calendars for cats. I see. So here's one. Ocean, please open as soon as adopted. Time sensitive. And you put this cute little ribbon on it too. And it is Trader Joe's advent calendar for cats, salmon, and dried seaweed, res dried seaweed recipe cat treats. And then you've sent three more of those as well, just like you said, for us to use around the Academy. Uh, that's so sweet. Thank you so much. I don't know um, if everybody is like this. I so often will start an advent calendar and then forget about it for days and have to catch up. Uh, I expect there to be a lot of that, <laughs> but we'll see. Uh, they're very fun, though, aren't they? When I was a kid, oh, there's no way you would forget about them because you would uh, you'd want to open them all at once, really. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that's that's super fun. Okay. Uh, there's a lot more in here, though, so let's see. Uh, I see a, a Ghirardelli milk chocolate caramel brownie. Oh, Mark, caramel brownie. I didn't know they made such exotic flavors of Ghirardelli. Uh, also, the sea salt caramel, luscious, luscious filling. Oh, my goodness, luscious filling. Wow, that's uh, luscious. I like it. That's a word I need to use more often. This is so cool. I love the label you made for Kahootie and the Kahooligans artist, especially uh, with this cat face and the L. Uh, so Kahooty and the Kahooligans. And you see this little eyes here in the L with the little nose that leads right into it. Very artful. And I kind of wondered what a spring ball was, but now I see exactly what it is. They should have one right now. There's uh, six of them in here, so that's exactly the right number to take home with them. But maybe if we put one out now, uh, they can have some fun with it. Oh there, oh, there we go. There is an easy way to get this open. And we'll just pick one, uh, I guess, randomly. See what, there's three blue ones and only two of the uh, less, fewer. There's fewer of the other colors than blue. Plus, this is uh, yellow and blue, too, which is, uh, that's a pretty set. So, we're going to take that one. And the rest of these we will put back in just a minute once we have a place to put these in down. Let's, are you want to get on that box, pal? I know you do. Okay, um, this is also to go to endowments, so I guess we'll sort all that out as we go. These are zip tied or twist tied together. Let's untwist the tie. There we go. Oh, wow, that's oblong. I didn't expect it to be kind of oblongy. Uh, oh, it bounces too. That's super fun. And of course, if they get the managed to get the mouse out, you can always put something else in there, like a different little mouse, or uh, a lot of times putting the crinkle balls in is fun for them. I think they're going to have a lot of fun with that. All right, we'll find out though, won't we? <clears throat> There's a bag here that has more Ghirardelli in a little thing. Also sea salt and caramel brownie. Wow, that sounds really good. Uh, oh, and it's full of those cat treats, the Thanksgiving cat treats that you were talking about. Turkey and cranberry recipe. And it looks like they're uh, sort of, um, hmm, I can't tell. It seems like they came apart a little bit maybe in shipping or they're kind of powdered at this point, but that's all the more fun. You can spread them out and they're going to like it. Crumbly. Crumbly is the word that I'm looking for. So it's turkey and cranberry recipe cat treats. Uh, no grain added. Perfectly soft and chewy. They do feel soft, actually. They feel soft and crumbly. Uh, and I love these uh, sort of calicos that are on the front, too, that look like they're having a lot of fun with them. And the uh, number one ingredient, turkey, then peas, then vegetables, cranberries. So it really is legitimately uh, also uh, garlic, paprika, rosemary, and uh, some salt. So it is, is very much a actual turkey and cranberry dinner. Uh, they're gonna love that. That's gonna be super good. Uh, custard, by the way, you can come in here and check out the rest of the box. Well, oh, okay, it looks like the ribbon came off a little already. Is that what you were looking for, buddy? 
We have the insert coffee to begin decal, which is perfect. Uh, that should definitely go with the stickers that I should have already set aside. And now I just don't see them in front of me. So that's confusing. They're probably over, over here with the other pile of things though. So uh, I'll set it over here for the moment. That's a nice sticker though. It's a, it's a fabric thing going on. Uh, oh, I see, probably because it's a front sticker. Hmm. Now I gotta check it out and see. No, no, it is. It's just a real nice fabric kind of sticker. That's uh, that's one that's solid. Okay, very nice. I'm gonna take this off of the, uh, if I can, how's this tied on here? Maybe I have to save this project for later. Oh, there we go. Okay, I think I had tie. Oh, perfect. Look at that. I nailed it. All right, cool. Take that off of there and set these aside too, and that way these can all get sort of put away together. Great. And let's uh, let's see. Oh, and this is the same kind of really nice sticker. It says uh, CJD, I think. Uh, I'm not familiar with exactly what that means, but let's find out here. There is a, oh my goodness, this is a nice mug too. Very fancy. And it's got the Kitten Academy logo on it. It says stone mug, and it appears to be a stone mug, uh, but it's also somehow insulated. Ooh, oh, I see. Wow. it's uh, It's got a stone appearance, but I don't think it is stone on the outside, actually. It's just uh, plastic that resembles it. So stone is more of a color here, I think, than a description. But as you can see, it's got the Kitten Academy logo. Oh, uh, hi, Custard, on one side. And it's got uh, Life is Better with Cats on the other side. It's perfect. Plus a real nice lid. And then on the inside, I can see it is, a, it's a, what do you call the, uh, like an Erlenmeyer flask? Is that the right one? I think it is, uh, which is super insulated. These are fantastic. Um, also, uh, what DJ uses, the plastic ones for her tea. Uh, and not only have I been drinking, I've just started to try to drink a little more tea myself, uh, which is also fun for these kinds of mugs. So this is a perfect, thank you so much for that gift. Uh, completely um, unnecessary to send us that kind of thing, but much appreciated. I'm going to enjoy this one. It's beautiful too. I love the, the sort of basic gray that goes with anything. That's why we tend to get so much gray here in the academy, because then uh, you can sort of spice it up by putting it around other things and you don't have to worry about it matching so much. Every, gray matches everything, which is nice. So that's that's beautiful. Thank you so much for that. Okay, uh, let's see. We've got a couple more boxes to go through here. This one is addressed to Cahoots, and it is uh, addressed from Weirdo Eye. Not Charlie Eye, but Weirdo Eye. Weirdo of Weirdo and Kevin and Charlie. It says, Mr. A, cut here gently as we shall do. It's also got little stars all over it. Very nice. And you've shown me, uh, even though you've packaged this up so nicely with the brown paper, uh, you've shown me where to cut. It's got little dotted lines to show me exactly how it works, which is nice, because I'm always a little bit, it's always a little unknown when you get the, uh, the beautifully wrapped packages like this. All right, right on top, we have the note. I like that too. Hi, Ari, what are you looking at, bud? The note says, hi, Cahoots. Cahoots is actually upstairs right now, but I, uh, um, she's probably listening. Um, hope you are feeling better. Uh, a bit of chicken is, a diet of chicken is excellent for calming your tummy. I noticed that you wolf down your food as if there is no tomorrow. My brother Kevin did this when he first came to live with us. Mommy got uh, mommy got out its old, uh, oh, the old dog slow feeder bowls. Why she kept them, I don't know. Mothers. Anyway, mommy started using these bowls for Kevin for breakfast, lunch, and bedtime dinner. It certainly slowed him down, going from seconds to 10 minutes to eat his food. Now he takes his time and enjoys his meals. So I asked mommy to get some for you to try out, one for wet food and one for dry food. They will also help you taste and enjoy your food. I hope this helps. Lots of love from Weirdo. P.S. I wish you could be my little sister. Mommy says no. That is so sweet. Thank you. And you did. I, you mentioned to me on Discord, I think, that uh, you were going to send these things. <laughs> oh, oh, excuse me. Uh, these are so cute, too. This one is in the shape of a cow. And you can see it's actually kind of a flat dish, but it looks like a cow. And it's got like these little eyes and nostrils and the cow pattern here. So very appropriate for them. Uh, which is the food goes into those little bits and they've got to sort of dig it out and eat slowly because they can't just put their mouth in there and grab it. Very smart. 
then I guess you set one for wet food and one for dry food. This looks like it's for dry food. I didn't even know they made these for wet food, but this one, I guess, this must be the one for the wet food then. And this one is a bowl that has, again, it's got little things, and this one's a little more abstract, uh, geometrical design, with these little uh, uh, ridges in it to, to slow them down a little bit. Maybe not slow them down so much that they can't get in there and lick it and, uh, and dig in it, but uh, yeah, you have to let me know which one you use for the wet food and dry food, because I'm not sure which way it would work better. But I think given the size of some of these holes, this one's got to be for the dry food and this one's got to be for the wet. Uh, that would be my guess anyway. And we do try to give her some of both. Of course, we're still going to have to feed her separately from her kids because otherwise the kids will have to slow down and they don't need to slow down, just her. Uh, but I think this is a great idea. She really does. I mean, she wolfs down that food and especially if she thinks you're going to take her away. But even then, uh, she's just as, as crazy about eating as fast as she possibly can. So it'll be interesting to see if this helps slow her down a bit. And that's also a problem that we've had on and off with, uh, say, Loganberry, um, who, who also tends to, to wolf down. Oh, you had it labeled. OK, so this one is actually labeled dry food. So I did I either guessed correctly or I read this and didn't realize it subconsciously. So now we know I was correct. So good. Matches up with my intuition about it, which will be easy to remember. Uh, or not remember, I can just uh, recalculate from scratch. That's that's always the best uh, when when you can figure it out from first principles, because then you don't have to remember anything. That's that's always been the way for me. Uh, perfect. Okay, good. So uh, thank you so much for sending that weirdo. Uh, and uh, it's a it is it's a brilliant idea, and I'm excited to try it out on her and see if it slows her down. If we can leave out dry food for her all the time, but she she doesn't eat it as fast that would that would dry food that would turn out to be i think a really good thing for her there are so many birds out there right now the bird feeders it's a whole flock of little sparrows and then a blue jay is of course just dominating the situation like they do they're very pushy birds but he's just beautiful majestic uh big big blue guy um okay uh, anyway, so this is perfect for Kahuti. Hopefully, uh, I can start her on that while she's here. So I don't know where that means I have to put this right now, but we'll sort that out after we've opened everything. Uh, and like I said, you told me you were sending that, and it's uh, just such a great idea. Speaking of things I've been told were coming in advance, this was anticipated as well, I think. It says from Creole Moss. So I don't know if there's going to be a note in here or not, but let's find out. If there's a note, uh, if there's not, at least I know from Discord exactly what is in it and why. Uh, this is a blue marshmallow bed to put in to match their room a little better than the salmon colored one that they have been sleeping on in there. Wow, it looks like an unusually large one. Uh, we'll find out and see if this is a note. No, not a note. Just says the brand is Pet Almy and uh, Premium Fluffy Pet Bed is what they call it. All right. Well, indeed, it is exactly that. So Creole Moss, Creole Moss on Discord. Thank you so much for this. Uh, and I actually took away their salmon colored bed this morning and put it in the wash pile already. Of course, we usually wash these before we put them out. Sometimes they come in smelling a little bit industrialized. Um, but hopefully this one smells good enough. We can just put it right out. We'll see. Uh, well, it's going to puff right up now. Oof. It's a beautiful, like a, like a bluish gray uh, cerulean color that uh, is, is an excellent match for things and just a lovely color in general. I'm going to have to shake it out to get it to poof all the way up, but that's a big one. It's even bigger than the one that they were in, which is good because they're even bigger than they were. And it smells fine to me. Nice. Okay, good. Yeah, I'll shake it out and poof it up uh, post mailbag, and then we'll put it right into their room. So Creole Moss, thank you for that. Thank you for letting me know uh, in advance that that was coming. It's a perfect little gift for them. Speaking of another thing that we kind of knew in advance, although I'm not entirely sure what it is. Oh, except there's a picture right here. It says gray and it's a picture of a basket. So we're going to pretend this is probably a gray basket from uh, Terra Bear, who sent that wonderful uh, cow cat tree that they have all been enjoying on the regular. Um, and uh, it's, it's fantastic. And then also sent, of course, a second one that is more of a uh, neutral color for us to use around the academy that we haven't put out yet. We're saving it for, for the, just the right time. Although 
It does match the, the theme uh, that we're going for in here. Not that there's much theme to be seen, but I was sort of going for the wicker uh, and uh, sort of neutral tones in here. We got that new wicker, new wicker cat head bed that's not new at all. Uh, that was probably sent to us like a year ago by someone lovely and wonderful, and just waiting to see it on the stream. And all the kittens were playing on it and in it. It was it's the perfect thing for them. Uh, so uh, we got that and we got this and uh, there were a couple other things I think I wanted to bring out that sort of match that tone um, and uh, that, that second cat tree really would if we end up needing it uh, in here or we might end up saving it uh, for you know another time uh, it's so nice of you to take care of us like that though Tear Bear really it is so much appreciated so this is something that you expected to arrive I think several times over now uh, but here it finally is and wow uh, this is also the Mao brand, the same as those things are, the Mao brand. It weighs a ton. This thing is made out of some heavy, heavy stuff. And is it, it's a basket, I guess. Look at that. There's a ping pong ball in there just for fun, I guess, and some catnip to add to it, plus a whole bunch of do not eat. Uh, it says it's activated carbon deodorizer, though. Not at all uh, what I expected. I expected this to be the uh, silica gel, but it's not. It's deodorizer. How about that? Very smart. Yeah, okay, there's still a little bit of an odor, that's fine. But look at this, it's woven uh, inside and out like two layers of this beautiful, soft material. Uh, this must have also cost a fortune. Uh, oh, I see it's folded out. I said it's two layers, but it's kind of folded out. So you could maybe fold it up taller if you wanted. Hard to say, but it's beautiful. And there's a tag that says, can be machine washed and then no spin uh, with no spin and then air dried. Uh, how about that? I didn't know there were machine washers that do no spin though. I, I don't think ours does. It does a delicate mode, which I use more often than not these days. Oh my gosh, this is so soft. Now you told me this was coming. I don't know if you told me what it was for, um, but I wonder if Ari would like it as much as he likes the current gray bed. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but cats tend to like to sleep on things that match their colors a little bit. Um, even, you know, if you give them an option of sleeping on anything, uh, you'll normally find them on the rug that sort of matches them a little more than not. Um, you know, it's not 100 percent, but uh, at least that holds true, especially in Ari's case. Uh, his favorite bed in the house is one that's getting very worn out in the, uh, the sunroom, a little gray bed that he loves to sleep in. Um, so uh, this, this could be something good for him, or it could be good for lots of things. And uh, yeah, it does look like I could fold this whole thing up to make it taller. Uh, wish that I were taller. Uh, yeah, oh, wow, that's, that's a little too much, though, and I don't think it's going to stand up like that, but it's beautiful. My goodness, this material is so soft and so heavy. Uh, it should last quite a long time. Uh, that's some quality stuff, actually. I, I, don't, I can't say that I'm super familiar with the Mao brand, but uh, everything we've seen so far from you, from them, is wonderful. All right. For now, I'm going to try to fit it back in the box it came in, uh, if I can, even. I'm not sure if I can even or if I can't even. Let's find out. Well, because it's a, it's a lot bigger than the box is. <laughs> I don't know how they fit it in there. Also, I see the box has little suggestions to cut holes in it and make it into a toy for the kittens, which I know they would love. Oh, look at that. I did. I managed to cram it right in there. Okay, good. All right, that leaves us with, I think, one last package for today's mailbag, which is from, I think you will recognize, like I do, the uh, b, b sisters. So let's get this thing open and see... Uh, if it's a fresh set of blankets, perhaps. I think we're getting a, a, a bit ahead on blankets. We're going to have to start using some up. Uh, maybe maybe if we just feed uh, uh, Cahoots a whole bunch of food, uh, she can just she can just wreck a whole bunch of blankets if she's done. <laughs> just let her keep going on that, huh? Uh, okay, let's see. There's a note right on top from the B&B &B sisters. You like that? Uh, uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, this is a bunch of kittens in uh, one of those pilgrim hats with the buckle on it. I don't, there's got to be a name for those hats, but I don't know what it is. Uh, they're very cute. Their eyes say that they are uh, Photoshopped, though, and so does the, uh, the hat, but it's still it's a very cute little arrangement there. 
It says, uh, thanks, thankful for friends, family, food, fun, and kittens. Happy Thanksgiving. And it says, hello, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. The Thanksgiving holiday is, oh, hang on, uh, can be used however you see fit for storage of choice, blankets, whatever. Oh, I'll thank you so much uh, from Terror Bear. Okay. The Thanksgiving holiday is quickly coming up, and we wanted to take a little extra time to thank you both and let you know how grateful we are that Kitten Academy exists, not only for those sweet mom cats and their precious kittens, but also to let you know how much it means to us. Uh, oh, that, so that reminds me, let me interrupt your, your note for just a minute because it's on my mind um, about the, the close-ups and the micro close-ups that uh, that Blue Jay is so pretty. He keeps coming back because we totally watched him. Uh, so... Um, the close-ups and the micro close-ups were a little bit behind on uploading those. It's uh, there's there's reasons for that that kind of involve vacation, believe it or not. The robots uh, don't directly get a vacation, but I've stolen the machine that those robots had been using to upload those things, uh, and so uh, I've started moving all of that to another machine, and that's why some of them are getting uploaded now. And I think there's a couple I just have to click publish on, which I haven't done yet. But my point is. Uh, yeah, we're a little behind on that. And I feel badly because I know that is a really easy and fun way to sort of keep caught up on stuff. Uh, so yeah, that's all. That's all I wanted to say, really, is that, uh, that it's happening. So, OK, you say my sister and I work from home and we have our home computer on Kitten Academy every workday. We can't tell you how many times when we've had a stressful work or life moments, how just looking at those sweet cats and kittens has helped us with our stress levels. Enclosed are the usual, including a Christmas blanket to be used as you see fit. Christmas is a favorite holiday for one of us. One of the blankets has a kitten face on it that makes us think of you. Aw, oh, smiley face again, thank you. From the B&B &B sisters. Thank you so much, Beatrice and Bernadette, the B&B &B sisters, that is very sweet of you. So let's take a look at the wonderful uh, new blankets that we've been sent here. This one is uh, very cute. It's a bunch of panels like, a, like it wants to be a quilt. Uh, and it's made out of, these are all made out of the same super soft, uh, fleecy material. Perfect for little kittens and big kittens alike. Oh, that's so cool. The big tree in the middle with cats on it. And then all these different styles of pictures, uh, very much like a quilt. Uh, and even with the border around it, that's very nice. Uh, quilt, uh, quilt like. That's what we will say. All right. Um, then we have, wow, this feels like a big one, too. These are some bigger blankets. They come in all different sizes. Uh, oh, wow, that is a big one. Uh, oh, wow, it's, uh, it's like a space, spacey space scene, I think. I don't know which way it goes. I'm just looking at this moon in the corner. We've got the moon here and what looks like, uh, uh, well, I see plenty of stars, and I guess this is some kind of a big nebula here on this side, and it's all in this beautiful blue color that matches so much of what we have here. Uh, of course, I love the space theme, and uh, I like that nebula, and I like the blue, and it's so perfect. That's a great blanket. Cool. There we go. Let's just fold this up a little bit. There we go. Right there. Lovely. Uh, there are a lot more, of course. Oh, this is very cute. This is a... Uh, um, Reminds me of uh, uh, Pusheen a little bit, although it's not. Uh, Pusheen's much more rounded than this, but it's got this cute little style to it. And um, we've got some stars, and uh, I see shooting stars and other stars and little moons, and it says, good night. And it's got two cats, three cats on clouds, four cats on clouds, okay, and some other little clouds with smiley faces. It's whimsical. Uh, it's kind of, uh, it's lovely. It's whimsical and lovely, and I like all of that. I also like the style and the one cat wearing the glasses and all of it. It's uh, it is wonderful. That, uh, that sort of um, clean, it's a real clean sort of whimsical design that I like. That's, that's what I like about it. I, I think I mentioned before, I just watched the entire uh, Bee and Puppy Cat series on Netflix and I loved it. Uh, and it's not exactly the style, but they've got, uh, you know, they, they rhyme, I guess. There's a commonality there that I, I really enjoy. So... Uh, okay, here we have a set of animals. We have a panda bear, an alligator, an elephant, uh, looks like a little mouse of some kind, and a bear with a pot of honey. Uh, very cute catnip toys. We have uh, something, oh, this is that set of birds, isn't it? I recognize this. It's funny, I can recognize toys even if I can't see them now. Yeah, you're really squishing further and further down into that spot, aren't you? 
I've just got these little eyes looking at me. I should take a picture of it now. So this is, yes, this is the set of uh, very realistic birds, uh, including, no, I think it's a blue parakeet, not a blue jay. Let's take a look, though. Here's the little blue guy. Uh, yeah, so we got a cardinal. We have a green parakeet. Uh, we have this, uh, not a, bl a blue jay, but that's not a blue jay that's out there. So wait, now I'm confused. Which one is the... I don't know. One looks like this. That's not the kind that's out there. The kind that's out there is the kind that's uh, got looks like a like a blue cardinal with a little crest and everything, and it's entirely blue. And then of course we have the blue parakeet. So uh, uh, this is the blue jay, and that's the blue. No, uh, this is the what is this? <sighs> My brain. All right, it's not going to tell me. My brain isn't going to tell me. So it doesn't matter right now, does it? Uh, let's just move right along. <laughs> Uh, and then we got, oh, look at this, a whole bunch of the uh, tinsel Charlie balls. These are, again, something that's a big hit. This is one of Oshi's favorite toys, by the way. I see her always choosing these to carry around with her. She likes a lot of toys, though. She loves to play with these, and she loves to play uh, with the ball tracks, too. She's big on the ball tracks, which I think I mentioned is, uh, you don't normally see, like, a lasting love of the ball tracks from a cat like Oshi, but she seems like that's really her deal, uh, which is also fun. Here we have a realistic set of four fish, uh, which I, I don't think I'm familiar with this exact set. Oh, look at that, like a little minnow. Oh, they've got, they all? Yeah, they've all got uh, jingly rattles in them, which is great. These kids seem to like that kind of thing quite a bit. And there's five of them here, which might make it perfect for their endowments. For now, we're gonna put those fish right back in there. Uh, there's another blanket. Ooh, this is the Christmas blanket. And, uh, oh, it's got a little extra fuzzy. This one's got some real uh, heavy Sherpa on the back, the kind of kittens like to knead on. Uh, it's a little heavier blanket, and it's got Christmas trees with cats that are decorating or undecorating the Christmas trees. I guess it's hard to say. Maybe a little bit of both. Uh, and a cat coming out of a package here. Very cute. DJ's going to like this one quite a bit. I like it too, of course. But, you know, DJ is uh, our, our big resident Christmas fanatic. So... That's perfect for her. Thank you so much for that. And then uh, as, oh, wait, one more. Uh, we've got a box full of little tiny fuzzy mice in uh, various colors that have rattles in them. Yes, they do. Okay. We'll put one out and save the rest for endowments. And then, as usual, at the bottom of the box, we have some fancy feast. Uh, chicken feast, classic pate. Yes, exactly what we're feeding everybody here almost all the time. So uh, thank you so much for that. There's a couple of those, which I'll set both of them out so that they can get uh, put directly into the kitchen and from there directly into the kittens. All right, so that is the mailbag. Uh, thanks again to everybody who sent everything. That's wonderful. I missed my chance to get Flim Flam's picture of her little eyes looking up at me because now she's squishing even further back in. She can't decide where she wants to be. Also, there's a stain right there from some cat food or something. Uh, that keeps happening to me. Meow, meow, meow. Go figure. Cover it up with my hand. We'll pretend it's not there. Ooh, somebody's got a pretty song out there. Okay. Well, anyway. Uh, all right. I'm going to get all this stuff sort of uh, properly um, into its place, its, its proper places, uh, and then we will wrap up the mailbag archive. So thanks again uh, one more time to everybody for everything. It's wonderful. I really, really appreciate everybody taking care, such great care for these kittens. Uh, I've said it before, and I'm sure I will say again, it's wonderful knowing that they get to go into their new lives uh, so well loved and so well cared for, um, you know, even before uh, their adopters get a chance to do it, that they, they get to go with everything they need. And that's that's wonderful. And that's that's down to all of you. And it, it means so much. So uh, thank you. Thank you very much for your extreme generosity. And uh, I think I think it means even more in uh, these current times than uh, than maybe it has, uh, you know, ever before. I don't know. We don't need to make it a competition. It's not like that. But whoop. Oh, she. Oh, she. Oh, she got a little too much kitten, I think. Hi, yes, you are. You're licking me. She was also like, uh, when she lays in the bed, she likes to get on my pillow and just lick my head, which is ridiculous, but she's very sweet. Such a sweet little kid. Why don't you sit on these blankets for a minute until I put everything away, all right? Well, let's get to it. Oh, get to it. All right, here we go. Up and at them. 
Thank you. Let's see the notes, the notes, the notes. I don't want that ribbon to end up in the hands of kittens, as cute as it is. Let's take things that are probably going to be for endowments, or at least everything that has to go to the basement and put it in one spot, which is definitely this. And then hopefully uh, we should get through those endowments before we need the advent calendar. So I just put them all in there for a moment. Hi, ah, yes, there you go, right in here. All right, this can go that way. These I think we need to have out to try on her before she goes home, so we'll try that out. These can go in here though. All right, this goes downstairs too. Oh, there are the other stickers, Sophina. Hang on there. Now, gotta do a sticker. I've gotta start do a little sticker collection. I gotta collect the stickers. <laughs> mm, that's not funny. Uh, okay. These can go in here. That's an endowment. That can go over here. That's all going downstairs. These can go back here. There's the other sticker. Good. Didn't get lost. Put it right there. Okay. These can go upstairs. This can go upstairs. This can stay right here with the food. This can stay right here with the food. This can stay right here with the food. Let's take all this over to the kitchen. All right. Up and oop, up, up and at them. I think. Actually, let's make sure that Oshi takes it. Oh, but she's got... Oh, she's flying, so we're going to have to ship most of her stuff to her, so I'm going to try and minimize it. But I don't have to minimize it that. We can ship as much as we want. Shake this thing out and put it where it belongs. Oh, I know it's scary, kids. It's just me. It's just me shaking a bed. Come on now. Hide behind the door. That's smart. So you'll ever see you behind the glass door. Yeah. This all goes upstairs. That all together. I missed some things that need to go to the kitchen. I know DJ's gonna take one look at that gray bed and want to put it out immediately. That's exactly the kind of thing she just loves. I'll bring it upstairs for her to check out so she doesn't have to come down and see it, but 
That probably means it'll just get deployed in the men room instead of where Ari can best use it. We'll see. Mr. A, he's a scary, scary dude. Kids, I think, oh, well, Custard's in here. I want to bring your mom back down. I think you guys should have some second breakfast, third breakfast before. I guess that's it for mailbag then. We're all wrapped up. Uh, I'm going to end the archive here and then I'm going to get these kids some more food and then uh, after that probably bring their mom down to hang out with them. So where is the other? Uh, 
recording it. There we go. Okay. See you later, archive watchers.